Hello YouTube, it's Rick here again. Um, still kind of sick. Uh, actually getting worse. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna smoke a little bit of uh, this menthol pipe tobacco. It's pretty much the equivalent of cigarette tobacco, but on a uh, recommendation from Pipe Friend. Uh, any kind of mid-tier menthol flavored tobacco is probably good for when you're sick, because you open up your sinuses and something you can actually taste. Uh, but I figured today I'd try out, uh, well I'd talk about my vacation a little while. Um, yeah, I went to, uh, Lose Delaware, which is a little bit north of Rehoboth. Uh, this is on the southern end. Uh, right it's like a town right on the Delaware Bay and you have uh, Cape Headland and State Park right there and there's uh, you know it's just it's really just a, a small little fishing town uh, it's getting a little bit more uh, to like the beach kind of town but it's a lot more family oriented than a lot of the places down towards Rehoboth and Dewey Beach and uh, even further south like Ocean City uh, it is a, a, a really nice place uh, if you are into more of a quiet scene, you you know you like to get out fishing and stuff like that. They have a ton of head boats right on uh, right at, along the canal in town. Um, there's all kinds of little shops for people to go in. It's like the in town kind of has a stuffy feeling, but once you get out from the very center, it kind of turns into more just a relaxed kind of you know area. Um, the fishing there is excellent if you know what you're doing, and honestly. All you need is a number four hook and a piece of squid, and you'll probably catch something. Um, me and my dad used when we had a trailer down in that area, we'd drive down and go uh, fishing like almost every like every other weekend. And you know, we go for flounder and stuff. But this weekend, we don't have the trailer anymore, so we just went down for the week, and it the fishing was amazing. All we did was just you know croaker fishing and, and spot. Uh, he. We threw chunks of golf out too and caught a few short fun or nothing too crazy. And uh, caught, you know, the usual sand sharks and uh, even a puffer fish. But uh, it's it was a really nice trip. Um, of course, you had my mom and sister and uh, their friends. No, they like to spend the day on the beach and we spent a couple days with them. But we went down to uh, Cape Henlopen State Park and we went in by the fishing pier. There's a beach you can go to. And honestly, the pier is great. I mean, you're not going to catch a ton of fish off of it, but you will catch something eventually. But me and my dad always had the best luck just fishing from shore for small croakers and stuff. So that's what we did that day. Um, it honestly doesn't get any better for me. That's where I want to, you know, live. Uh, I didn't take a whole lot of pictures, but at the end of the trip, I figured I should take some. Uh, they do have a nice uh, little nature museum thing in there. I didn't take any pictures of that, but they also have the World War II watchtowers, and they even have one that you can climb up. So I took a picture of the watchtower and some pictures and a video from the top of that, so you can look out over the ocean and the the bay. You can actually see the point uh, where Cape Henlopen and the Atlantic Ocean kind of separate and turns into the Delaware Bay. Um, you can see a couple uh, cargo ships out there too. Uh, and you can see you know, small commercial boats, the, the lighthouses, the little bit of the town. You can even see across the bay to Cape May, New Jersey. So uh, I guess I'll put, put those up now. Uh, if you ever get the chance to come down and go down and visit Luz, I would highly recommend it. It is a beautiful town. Uh, and just honestly a great place to be.